check out those leaves falling off snake hey boss was this something you used to see back in the original game i don't think so <laughs> i thought so what a time to be a metal gear fan just one day after the release of the master collection volume one and we're already seeing the first in-engine footage of the upcoming remake for one of the most beloved metal gear games of all time snake eater I think we can all agree that the game looks visually stunning, even in pre-alpha stage. From the high level of detail on Snake's character model as he interacts with the environment, all the way to the natural flora and each and every animal being shown. It's awesome to see many of these familiar locations as a young naked snake makes his way into the jungle of Tselinoyarsk. And while you might think you've noticed everything by watching this footage maybe once or twice, there are actually some interesting details you might have missed from this trailer. So in this video, we'll be covering 10 hidden details from the in-engine footage of Metal Gear Solid Delta, Snake Eater. Python Sulk in Detective Mode, kicking in. As Snake hides in the grass during this scene, you can actually see leaves slowly falling off Snake as he proceeds to grab the KGB soldier. This can also be seen during another moment in the trailer, where we can once again see leaves falling off Snake with his movement. Now, much of the gameplay when it comes to Snake's animations appears to be based on MGS5's gameplay, which is definitely a great thing. Something which might easily go unnoticed due to the vegetation covering it is the way Snake crouches and enters into crawling movement, which is very much like the transition we had in MGS5. On a side note, the crouch walking movement is an especially important addition for the remake. This was actually already featured in the 3DS version of Snake Eater, so it was an expected addition for Delta Snake Eater. As Snake climbs back up during this scene, you can actually hear a tease of the voice performance of the one and only David Hayter, in what appears to be the same voice from the original game. A close-up of Snake's face shows numerous cuts and bruises that come as a great addition in detail when compared to just the blood on Snake's face in the original game. Whether the injuries heal over time or if they'll be implemented in the game's cure system remains to be seen. Snake's uniform also appears to be torn upon sustaining damage, perhaps from a crap battle. Ah, sorry about that guys, I couldn't help it upon seeing that crab. In a quick glimpse from afar, we can even see three item boxes in the small cave beneath the road bridge at Dolinovodno. <laughs> Judging by the virtuous mission from the original game, these items should be the XM16E1 weapon, MK22 bullets, and the Pentazemon. This further shows that Delta Snake Eater is indeed a faithful recreation of the original game. Speaking of item boxes, in the beginning of the trailer, we can even see an item box spinning in the background, which is pretty much a confirmation that this will also be retained from Snake Eater. In this trailer, we can also see yet another Keratan frog, this time in the cave that features the battle against the pain. This Keratan also appears to be placed in his original location. Despite the vegetation being a bit blurry due to the focus on the snake, raindrops can also be seen falling on the leaves, which continues to show the cutting-edge graphics that the Unreal Engine 5 is capable of. Even though it's barely visible due to the lighting, Snake can actually be seen wearing the iconic bandana during this particular scene, making it the very first time we're seeing it in in-game footage for the Snake Eater remake. We hope you enjoyed these 10 details from the newly released trailer for Delta Snake Eater. Which detail did you enjoy the best from this video? And what are you looking forward to the most in this upcoming remake? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see more content on everything related to the Metal Gear franchise, we'd appreciate if you could like this video and perhaps consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching guys, and until we meet again, kept you waiting, huh? Python and Sulkin. Out.